Hi guys, welcome to this session in Microsoft Word. In this module, I want to have a look at tabs, but in particular, leader dots. So I've got a blank document on the screen there, and I just want to go through the process of putting some tabs on. Now tabs you can access via paragraph dialog box and tabs. Gives you the tabs dialogs box with all the stuff you need to know. Top right is a default tab space. And this is where you put um, your tab markers, uh, which will override this one. Just come out of that for a second. You can also use these options in the left corner of the screen, where it says left tab there. If I click it, it goes to the center. It goes all the way through all the tab options until you get back to the left tab. That's a simple case of clicking on the ruler and you get your tab. And the point of that is you press your tab key and it jumps to that tab marker and not the default tab marker. If I press it again without a tab there, there's no tab there, it just does the default one. Now, if I just undo that and clear tabs, now you can pull them off manually um, by just dragging and dropping, like so, or I could go into the tab dialog box and actually clear it all. But I want to do a little table and I want to talk about leader dots, so let's do a, a small table. So I want to set tabs at five and ten centimeters now i'm going to go into the tab dialog box to do that now you can actually double click um, on the ruler and you'll get the tab coming up at five centimeters it, that was a good guess it is exactly five but if you want to make sure you are accurate it's probably best to go into the actual tab uh, tab dialog box tabs paragraph and tabs and you get there and then you can just say five set and then ten set so that's what you have to do to make sure they're set onto the screen so these are the leader dots and I don't want to select the leader dots for the title let's just click OK to that you get the tab markers there on the ruler now if you haven't got the ruler displayed you're, you're uh, struggling a little bit with tabs so on the view tab you need to make sure the ruler is ticked and then you can see the tab markers and also the indent markers by the way so rulers are quite useful to have on now if I do a title name now I want to tap to the five centimeter mark so I've tapped across and then tapped again and there's my titles and I have got space for another one there but I'll just leave it like that now when I come down I'll just press enter twice that will bring these tabs down so if I press tab again it's still there because I pressed enter just backspace that off so while those tabs are on the ruler when you press enter you're bringing those tabs all the way down this paper so if you don't want those tabs to continue you must go back into the dialog box or double click on a tab and it will bring you the dialog box to clear so I'm now going to double click on this tab here which is just a quick way of getting into this box Remember, you can go through paragraph and this little arrow, and that will get you into the paragraph dialog box, and then that option gives you tabs. So first of all, we're on the five centimeter. I want leader dots on this now, so I'm gonna tick that. And then I have to go set, otherwise it doesn't happen. And then I need it on the 10 as well. So I want it on this line as well. So two, set, and then okay. Now, if I put, um, my surname, when I press tab, I get the leader dots. I'm in section A1, telephone is 121. Press enter, press enter again because I like spaces. Type the next person, tab, he's in B1, and his number is 222. Now, I always tell people just to press enter one more time or two times, give you two line spaces because now you need to clear the tabs because if you don't clear the tabs, they're just going to carry on like I said through the document so I'm going into there you've got a clear all option like so okay now if I press tab that's just the default tab I'll backspace that off now if you want to see tab markers you need to be on the home tab and select show hide and then when I press tab you can see these little arrows appearing telling you where you've got tabs I'll get rid of those take show hide off now what I want to do is just have a quick look at the decimal tab and putting leader dots on single tab. So at the moment I've got a left tab selected there which means I can go and stick that on the ruler wherever I want. 
press tab and it jumps to it but there's no leader dot on that so I need to double click on it and put a different leader style that one and then OK and then you get the leader dot to it and then you can type whatever you want press enter you're bringing the tab down but now I want to pull that tab off change this over to a center tab and put that one on at 13 just and then I will double click straight away on that actually I put the leader dot number four just to be different OK press tab and you get a different line A1 and it's centered as opposed to left so if I carried on typing on that one you can see how it goes that way if I type on this one it keeps it centered around the center tab if I press enter on that one pull that one off and then go for a right tab which you normally have on the right side of the screen double click on that tab to uh, back to number two OK press tab and then you can see how this would work if I just type some random characters this is coming in from the right tab into the document press enter pull that tab off and the last one I want to look at is the decimal tab which is one with a little full stop on if I put that back on at 13 double click on the tab do the leader dot OK and this is all about lining up figures so if I type a figure or a series of figures each time I need to press tab and then you can see that it's lining up on the decimal point and that's what that tab does so if I type a, a bigger number like a hundred every time I press tab it's lining up the figures on the decimal point on there and if you hold your mouse down on the tab you can see it's aligned there and you've got these nice little dots pushing it across to the right hand side of the screen so that is just a quick look at how to put tabs on and in particular how to use leader dots what you don't ever want to be doing guys if I just pull this tab off and I've done this in the past is doing that full stop full stop all the way across the page or just there and then pressing enter then how many did I do typing it again trying to line it up slightly off so I've done one too many dots and things like that that is not a good way and it doesn't look good either so if you want to uh, use these sort of dots uh, leader dots you need to use it through the tabs feature as opposed to doing full stops so hopefully that was of use to you thank you for your time and I'll see you on the next one